exactamente. Okay, hold on to your hats. Our final event of the first evening, the women's 60 meter showdown for glory. Six of the world's top eight are here in Belgrade, bidding for glory. Sharika Jackson, bronze medalist, last year in Tokyo, getting herself fully focused on the job in hand. On the outside, Mujinga Kambunji, bronze four years ago in this very race. Could she upgrade to a silver or a gold? So much experience. Victoria Rosa, Pan American silver medalist, over one and 200 meters. She goes in lane two. Michelle Lee IE will be second from the outside, the Commonwealth champion. Another performer of immense experience. Could her nerve hold at the key moment? Mary Beth St. Price, one of the fastest athletes in the world this year. Five wins already on this indoor season. Is there a sixth to come? Brianna Williams turns 20 on Monday. Could she take this title as a teenager? She's certainly got the confidence. Nikaya Briscoe. So fast in qualification, so relaxed. Could she deny the favourite the gold she has craved for so long? Here she is, the 10th fastest athlete in history. Can the European indoor champion become the world indoor champion? Eva Svoboda bidding to become Poland's first winner of this event. Jackson of Jamaica, Rosa Brazil, St. Price USA, Briscoe USA, Svoboda Poland, Williams Jamaica, IE Trinidad, Cambungi Switzerland. One of these eight women is seven seconds away from a moment that will last a lifetime. On your marks. Svoboda in five knows she has the talent to deliver. This is her chance to take a global gold. Will she seize it? It's a really quick start. Briscoe going well. Spavona's got a little bit of ground to make up. It's very, very close. And it's Kambunji on the near side. 6.95. Briscoe got out brilliantly. A 
as she had done all the way through the heats and the semi-finals. But on the near side, whilst everybody was watching the battle between the American and the Pole, Cam Bungie came through from lane eight and upgrades bronze four years ago to gold here in Serbia. A stunning performance, a massive lifetime best. And the Swiss star, who so often tastes bronze, glitters in gold tonight in Belgrade. It was a stunning, stunning run. She cannot believe it. A brilliant, brilliant performance. Kambunji takes the title. Wow. She has grown in stature over the last couple of years. Took a bronze in the 200 on the track in Doha. Briscoe got away brilliantly. It was a great, great start from her. And just at the very moment, she thought she was going to take the title because she knew that she was ahead of Svoboda. Kambunji came through on her peripheral vision from lane eight inside seven seconds remember no one had done that until this season for almost four years so there's no disgrace in that silver medal from briscoe and mary beth St. price has been given the nod ahead of svoboda both exactly the same time 704 and cometh the hour, cometh the nerves. Svoboda, the favourite, not only didn't take gold, she's not on the podium. She's finished in the loneliest place of all, down in fourth. See her just beneath her commentary position, walking off. It's the toughest moment. You see your competitors getting a flag, but let's have a look at that replay. It was a lightning quick start from Briscoe. And for me, that just put pressure on Svoboda right from the gun. But Briscoe here, she's powering away. She's powering away. She thinks she's got it. She dips, but look at Kumbunji out there in lane eight. She's got ahead of Michelle, Michelle Lee, i.e. early doors, and it was all on her own, just focusing down the track. Majung, Majunga Kumbunji, nobody for company. She stayed relaxed and just executed that last 10 metres superbly. I think Briscoe thought she might have won that. We're watching the athlete second from the right-hand side. She has been brilliant in qualification. Svoboda, unfortunately for her, it would have been a wonderful story. She's been so dominant all season, but this was the night she had to deliver and she was unable to do so. Briscoe, at this stage, would have been aware of Svoboda, but may not have even seen Kambunji in her peripheral vision in lane eight. And how about that for an image? Uh, have I? Have I? Am I the champion? Yes, you are, because you ran your own race and you came through brilliantly. Kambunji is the world indoor champion over 60 metres. What a gold for Kambunji. The fastest time in the world this year. Comfortably inside the world's top 10. Briscoe inside seven seconds for the first time in her career. St. Price with a PB. Svoboda, Jackson and Williams all just out of the medals on 7.04. World-class athletics is back in Belgrade. How we have missed these athletes performing in front of a crowd. It is one of the best sports in the world. It is one of the most accessible sports in the world. And if you've been inspired by what you've seen tonight, get down to your local club, wherever you live, because athletics is back. How good was that? How good was that from Kambunji? It was just phenomenal. And I said, just before we came on air, I said, I'm not sure about the American team. They don't seem to be firing on all cylinders. And as soon as I said that, the Americans are just picking up medals left, right and centre. But Kumbunji, she's such a professional. She's so experienced. And you can see that look on her face. She's going, did I really do that from lane eight? Yes, you did. Kumbunji, she's such a technician. She's good over 200 as well. So perhaps you'd expect her to come through at the end of the race, but not all the way into the gold medal, but she did. Sharing that moment with Kaya Briscoe and Mary Beth St. Price.
What a podium in that women's 60 meters. Amazing from Kambunji. Wow. And by the way, that puts her joint fourth on the all-time list with Merlene Otty, the legendary Jamaican. How about that? And we were saying a decade since a European has won this title. We were saying that about Eva Svoboda, thinking she was going to be the lady to do it. But that title has gone to Switzerland. Kyla de Point taking that European indoor title last year, not here this year. It's another Swiss woman going home with the gold medal. Two thousandths of a second between St. Price in third and Svoboda in fourth. Five thousandths of a second between Svoboda in fourth and Brianna Williams of Jamaica in fifth. And then a further one thousandth of a second between Williams in fifth and Jackson in sixth. That is how tight it was from third to sixth. 